You come across a lone figure wandering the wastelands. He appears to be a blind man in brown robes. Let's stop and talk to him. The man looks straight at your convoy, despite being blind, and proclaims, Deep in the human unconsciousness is a pervasive need for a logical universe that makes sense. But the real universe is always one step beyond logic. Okay. You were suddenly surrounded by a blinding flash. The blind man has disappeared. Time to leave. I don't know what that's referencing. I unfortunately do not know. And we're going to visit this place, because we can. You approach the radio signal. It sounds like an emergency broadcast. You see a few transport vehicles in the distance. Let's radio them. Thank God, some other people. We're part of the KGL trading company, and we're on en route to deliver some shipments. My head logistics officer, however, is a bloody fool and had us leave with too little fuel. So we're stranded out here in need of fuel. I don't suppose you'd care to help us out? We'll make it worth your while. What's in it for me? Oh, well, we don't have much. We obviously can't give you our merchandise. I suppose we have some spare parts lying around? Afraid we can't do that. You leave the Chi Chi behind, glancing at your fuel gauge to be just to be sure. Yeah, we don't we can't spare the fuel. Hey, look, let's see what the hell this is. You have been scanned by Torvac security forces. Evidently they don't seem happy with the way you are armed and decide to attack you. Oh, this is a random encounter right before the place. Wow, you're kidding me! Sixteen fuel, thirty sixty-two bolts, and an aid. Wow, that was crazy. Where's the nearest camp? Oh man! Wow, look at how dark blue this area. It must have the darker the color must mean the amount of enemies I'm gonna fight. So I'm used to just fighting a normal three enemies or four enemies. I'm not used to fighting five. That's crazy. We are getting. Let's see if we make enough. Uh, we did come out slightly ahead there. What's available in the shop? A vehicle for 80. He's got an aid. Small wheel. Yeah, we'll, we'll take him. Yeah, let's let's take this guy. And we'll give him the light rocket artillery, and we'll sell this buzzsaw for scrap. He already has an aid, we're not gonna need a... Oh, actually... No, I think I have a... I have something on him already. Oh, ballistic computer. He can keep that, so we're gonna scrap... Uh, we'll hold on to the aid. Oh, I, I'm, actually, I'm hitting the wrong button. I want to go to the to this. So, you're gonna get this. Cool! 
Oh, we should upgrade him. I don't have any bolts to really do that. We're at least going to give him a handling, I think. To start with. Oh, and you know what? We're going to switch. All right, let's do one more battle, and then we'll call the session. So, holy crap... What am I near? The self-sealing stem bolts were up there. Let's go back up there. We're going to visit this place first. You come across a lone figure standing beside the road. He has his arm outstretched and is holding up his thumb. Hitchhiking these parts? Seriously? Eh, I'll stop and talk to him. May I explain he is a free-minded spirit, soul-searching bullets traveling Omic Prime. He tells you his next destination isn't too far from here and asks for a ride. Uh, no, can't do that. The man curses you for your narrow-mindedness as you leave him standing. Whatever. You arrive at the office of Eiffel's Incorporated, a large building which probably also houses the actual production facility surrounded by electric fence. It looks exceptionally well defended. The fence has auto turrets positioned along its circumference, and you see signs indicating a minefield and heavily vehicles patrolling the perimeter. Before you can approach any further, someone attempts to radio you. Public communications. Welcome to Eiffel's Incorporated. You have been cleared for a meeting with our chief executive officers. Please approach our facility on foot. We will provide transportation at the gate. We wish you a pleasant stay. All right. You were taken inside the building, brought to a conference room, and told to wait. After some time, two slick-looking businessmen enter the room. Greetings, sir. My name is Samuel Eiffels, and this is my brother, Maxwell Eiffels. We welcome you to our fine establishment. I is it safe to assume you are here to inquire about our stem bolts? Uh, that's correct. Naturally. We have many customers for our steam stem bolts. Of course, we may be able to strike a deal if you are willing to pay more than our other customers. We think that 500 bolts sounds like a fair price. That's too much for us. How unfortunate. I'm afraid we won't be able to lower our price. That would hardly be fair to our other customers. I'm afraid you'll have to look elsewhere for your stem bolts then. I imagine these two taking turns saying each sentence. I'm pretty sure that's what they're doing. Reminds me of Firefly, the twins there. You know you have the monopoly. Quite right, I suppose we do. We realize your desperation, considering the state of your spaceship, and we are not unkind men. So we have a little endeavor for you to accomplish. In return, we shall provide you with the stem bolts. What is it? Eiffel's Incorporated is always looking to expand, such as corporate life, you understand. There is one particularly problematic individual standing in the way of progress, however. We would like you to head over to this individual and persuade him to part with his deed of land one way or another. Your methods are none of our concern. Are we in agreement? Not much of a choice. Wonderful. We shall supply you with the coordinates of this particular individual. Please return to us once you have acquired the deed to his land. We shall have your stem bolts ready. Good day, sir. Best of luck. You are let out of the Eiffel Incorporated building and return to your convoy. Ugh. Okay. Wow, I really need more everything. We're gonna run out of fuel, aren't we? We've just, we've lost this. You pass the Torvac checkpoint and have driven through safely. I can't afford the fuel. It turns out safety was a misconception. You've driven straight into a minefield. One of your vehicles gets caught in the blast. You managed to escape the mine without further troubles. Oh, great. Well, now we have to stop by the camp, and I think we've lost the game. We have to... I can repair this twice. Oh, I need a... I need a something. Well, that's gonna be it. We're gonna run out of fuel. Whatever this is, we need to fight it or, or do something to it. You come across Torvac checkpoint. They hail your convoy. Let's hear it. Greetings. We are in the process of establishing a new checkpoint in these lands. However, due to unforeseen circumstances, we need to construct additional pylons. <laughs> we can't trade the vehicles to transport the pylons ourselves, which is why we have hailed you. 
we will reveal the location of our pylon construction facility and allow you to work for us. We believe you should. No thank you. Alright, well, I never ran out of fuel before. We're about to see what happens to us. We are about... While driving through the desert, you spot a half-buried metal cylinder. We need to investigate. Inside the cylinder is a single, nearly decayed poster. After unrolling it, it shows a Torvac logo and some nearly faded text. You can discern technological oracles of revolutionary... Toss it. There's nothing else in the cylinder that was worth anything, so you decide to get rid of what you found and continue on your way. And this is it, everyone! We are out of fuel! Your frustration regarding your out-of-fuel predicament grows. Stopping around furiously, you kick against the side of your main Conway vehicle. Stupid pile of rust. A panel breaks off, revealing a hidden cache of 15 fuel! After additional surprise, you order your crew to get your convoy ready to move. You make a mental note to tell your commanding officer back at your spaceship to inform you of these things. Oh, thank God. You have to give us a little bit... a little bit further. You drive past the Torvac Corporation checkpoint. They attempt to radio you. We have to attack them. We need the fuel. Amidst the wreckage of the Torvac checkpoint, you find a mysterious cargo crate named Millspec EV-209. Let's investigate it. It appears to be some sort of humanoid robot. One of your engineers comes up and, to you and claims, we could try selling it on the black market, or I could have a look at, my, at it myself and see if I can figure it out if it's worth something. No, we're going to sell it. And we're going to go back to our main spaceship, which is right down here. Repair some of our vehicles buy some fuel, sell this thing if we can, and that will do it for us, for tonight. This desolate city is, seems eerily quiet, look out for trouble. Okay. Oh, we actually don't have the mill spec here, so I guess we got rid of it? I need to sell the aid. I need to scrap badly. We need to be pair MCV we're definitely lost. Wow. We need to shop for fuel. And I can't afford any other repairs. So when we come back, we're ready to go. Oof, we're taking a pounding fighting all these five or ah, oh, these five and six uh six groups are really giving us tons of trouble. We would have lost a game on medium by now. Holy crap, what a great game! This is <laughs> this is tough. Oh my goodness! And you can pause the game versus in combat. I'm trying not to do that. And you know what? I'm gonna do one more mission. Let's see. Let's see if we will run out of fuel this time and lose forever. Let's see. So going this way. Whatever this is. I see those coming from a garage situated here in desert. A broken down neon sign reads Caesar's Chop Shop. Investigate it. Upon heading inside, you spot a gray-haired man. He is busy dissembling parts left and right, while he's bopping his head and drumming on whatever he's got his hands on rhythm he can only hear. He sounds pretty chatty. Let's talk to him. Caesar looks up at your approach and says, New face! Welcome! What can I do for you? Let's talk business. We're running a chop shop here. 
Talking business is easy. You got vehicles? I got scrap. I scrap armor. That's what I do best. Taking a look at the stuff you got outside, I can probably use some of it. We have a deal, yeah? Oh, I need the money. Let's do it. Caesar begins working on scrapping your armor. Well, Caesar seems a bit unorthodox. He successfully manages to strip only the armor of your vehicles whilst leaving their hull in completely intact. After some time, he looks satisfied and turns to you. Nice. I gave you some uses. I've got some good uses for that. Pleasure doing business with you. Enjoy those parts. Gonna go up this way if I can get out of the mountains. There's a foul stench on the wind. We're not gonna tarry. Can I make it here, please? Oh. Woo! Okay. Okay, that's enough fuel to keep us going. Where is that Raider Rampage? That must be it. The way to get to it will be around this way. They'll give us a little more fuel and some more bolts from the Torvac group. You arrive at the Raider Outpost specified by the Torvac. Lock and load. As you rush in to destroy them, you notice the wrecks of those who went before you. We won't fail. Oh god! MK2 shield, 68 bolts and 12 fuel. Where is that nearest camp? Right down there again? I can make it back there. A convoy of vehicles approaches you. The one in the front is sporting a skull and bones flag. Seems like a privateer raiding party. Let's try to outrun them. I need that. I need to do that. Unfortunately, I've taken a lot of damage on Small Wheel, and I'd rather not lose him yet. All right, let's repair. We need more... We need more fuel? This is worth 45 for the MK2 shield. What are you currently using? Using the heavy machine... Uh, using the cannon. I could use the bolts. It's a wonderful item. It's a wonderful item. What are you using? You know what, small worm? Why don't you take the shield? Oh, sorry, small wheel. And we'll vendor that. We'll buy more fuel and repair some armor. 
And I'm gonna keep playing, because I'm addicted. <laughs> Let's go ahead. And can I turn this in? Oh! We should be able to turn that back in, right? The Raider Rampage? Thought we could turn that in somewhere. That the quest completed. Alright. Sell the mills on the black market. Plus capacitors right close by to us, but getting there's gonna be a pain. Let's see if we can go this way. And then stick to the road. Well, it's driving through this mostly destroyed city, a bunch of raider vehicles suddenly appears out of no of, out of nearby alleyways. Ready weapons. Ooh, I like the the terrain here. This is a bunch of light vehicles. Rocket artillery, 16 fuel and 58 bolts. Where's that camp? We're taking a pounding out here. Wow, this is this is really difficult. I need to upgrade my my everything. Wow, we ran out of bolts just like that. This is becoming ex very expensive. I can't really find the cash for this. We need more fuel. like 10 fuel just to get there. You spot a battered and broken raider vehicle in the middle of the desert. To investigate it. You strip the vehicle and manage to obtain 10 fuel, 51 bolts. Oh, awesome. What is this right here? That's the plus capacitor thing. Alright, we're here to get it. You arrive at the location of the Torvac Pylon facility. It is teeming with activity and surrounded by numerous Torvac vehicles. Can we attack it? You ready your weapons and assume offensive positions. The Torvac vehicles have taken notice, but don't approach. The facility is attempting to radio you. Blast them.
Shield MK1, 58 bolts, 11 fuel. You have defeated the final Torvac vehicle protecting the pylon facility. You find some loot in the racks. Upon searching the facility, you locate a functional energy pylon the professor was talking about. You return it to your convoy and prepare to head back. It should prove sufficient for the professor to construct you a flux capacitor. Hope we can make it back there. Our MCV is going to be blown to smithereens. Okay. shield. It would be too much money if I want to upgrade one of these. 30. I should spend... Uh, I really want to keep upgrading these guys. I need to... Uh, what to do? What to do? You're taking so much damage, MCV. We might as well give you... more health. Actually, no. We'll give you another... mine guard? more fuel, and we're out. Alright, so, now we want to go back to the flux capacitor. Ready weapons! I like this! This is great! We're right, we're right here. Unit reporting. Waiting orders. I need to pause the game. I'm taking way too much damage during these fights. That guy's dead. Let's... deactivate this guy. Oh, that hit my own ship? <laughs> I think I might have done that.
super heavy rail gun, 16 fuel and 65 bolts. And we're right here at the camp, so we can just instantly repair. So that was slightly profitable. We worked out with more fuel, and we've got another... Another item. Hey, awesome! That really worked out. I should stop the game now to celebrate and also get to bed. So I think we'll do that. Wow! Oof. From on the ropes to somewhat okay comeback. We need to upgrade our vehicles a lot more with their armor and their handling and everything. But we're we're holding our own at the moment. This is this is working well for us. We've got 64 fuel. That should be enough for us to return the flux capacitor. Maybe do another fight on the way. But I will stop here. Thank you for watching, everyone. This has been this has been Convoy, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Take care.